Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Night FIFA and the FIFA 08 full season playthrough continues as Derby County as we welcome Fulham to Pride Park. Fulham currently sit in 14th with 11 points, we sit in 18th on 10 points and guess what, we got all 10 of those points from 0-0 draws. Well, besides one, uh, which was a 1-1 draw against Blackburn Rovers. And we've lost one, and that was against Everton for a penalty. Oh, well. But yes, we welcome Fulham. Right, I've made changes. I am now lining up 3-5-2. I've made wholesale changes, so hopefully something will come out of this. For the love of God. Anyway, let's play some football. All right, lads, we're at home for this. This is Fulham. They're not exactly well beaters. They did get to the Europa League final once. But hopefully, we can beat them. They actually get more points. So there you have it. This is my 3-5-2 formation. Uh, a couple of players making their first uh, appearance, you know. Be able to point them out when the time comes. I, it was that Phil Haber. I know he's made his first appearance, but the line up front is still the same. Jones is back in the team as well. Oh, go on. Nearly had a breakthrough within the first couple of minutes. That would have been nice. Oakley's back in the team as well. Um, my centre backs are Leacock, uh, Moore, and Mears. I've decided to stick with that. Johnson, not Leacock, sorry, begging your pardon. Uh, but yeah, so I'm hoping that these changes will give us something, because at the moment, fucking constant new rules are doing a bloody edit. Casey Keller, American goalkeeper, played for Leicester City, I completely forgot he played for Fulham for a period of time, that was David Healy, Northern Irish international, uh, that's, that was also John Paul McBride up front with him, I think that's Stephen Davis. Then you played for a... Uh, oh, what are you doing, Jones? This is why I took you off in the first place. Because of crap like that. Right, Mackin's on it. Right. I mean, they're not shots, but it's something. You know? It's better than nothing at the moment. There's some uh, other Fulham players that I do recognise. Buaza is not one of them. Is Healy going to break through? Nope. My defence. I mean, the fact that we've only conceded two goals, that's a good thing, right? But then when we've only scored one, it's bad. What happened there? Oh, my. There's Paul Koncheski. He's over this. Ooh, close. But no cigar. Paul Koncheski, who uh, played for Liverpool for a short period of time, received a lot of abuse from Liverpool fans because they just didn't like him. Zach Knight, well, I forget the full reasons why I think they just didn't think he was Liverpool material, really. Kind of agree with that. I mean, he wasn't exactly the best player, but, you know, he still tried. He tries harder than most Man United players do at the moment anyway. But at the moment, Fulham are... <coughs> Ooh, is that a free kick or...? No, it's just the throw. Alright, how much time's passed? 20-something minutes. So... Oh. Went for a shot. Good save by Bywater. I mean, I keep on sounding like a broken record here, but all I can... Oh! Oh! Good save. I mean, it was a poor shot from the pride, but... You know, good play by Fuller. Well, can we turn it? Come on, use your noggins. 
could have, could have at least tried a through pass. John Paul McBride, American international. I think he played for Everton as well. Or am I thinking of someone else? I might be getting him confused with someone else. I think that's Chris Baird, Northern Irish international. Ooh. Slick little, uh, one, you know, one-touch passing. Ooh. Good attempt there by Healy. I'll give him that. I definitely will. Right. Fight him off. Still, he's, he won it, but did fuck all with it. Here comes the nil-nil at half-time. Alexei Smertin played... I think he played for Chelsea for a period. Right, one minute at a time. Right, go. Go. Right, I'm making a sub at half time. There it is. Well, another another new nil at half time. I mean that was their attempt. So But yeah, what else can you do? What else can you bloody do? I mean they had a few good opportunities, you know. Drew some good saves and everything like that. It'll probably say no, no. Yep, four shots to with two on target. Two R zero. 50-50 possession. You know, not really much else. But yeah. Uh, so in real life on match day 12, Derby County played Aston Villa and it finished 2-0 with Aston Villa getting the victory, of course. You know. And when Fulham visited Pride Park, it was on the 29th of March 2008 and it finished in a 2-2 draw with this Villa player scoring two goals. I have no idea who he is. If he's in my team, shall I throw him on? Maybe I'll actually get a goal. Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to make um, a singular change. So yeah, one change and then we'll get back into it. Okay, I decided to make two changes. Uh, Robert Earnshaw is now back on in place of Howard, and I took off Fagan as well for Barnes. Uh, I'm hoping that there can be something from that, you know, as always. Not really see much. Ooh! But the refs wave play on. Personally, I think he should have called for the free kick. Because look, we fucking dug ourselves into, you know, into no, into nowhere, into no man's land, got nowhere. Oh god! What is it? What is this one? Number ten or eleven? Oh! Come on, one of you. Come on, lads. Be smart with the ball. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Should have kept trying to bloody win the ball. Because it was ricocheting all over the place. weird when you're watching this and it, you just see them run to the byline. You know? It's just, where are you going? Alright, come on guys. Been hold on to that ball for quite some time there, right? Alright. Who's there to support? Move it 
forward. Who's there to support him? Oh, what was that? Oh, nearly took him out. Great defending there by Captain Moore, I believe. It's a goal kick, corner. No, nope, goal kick. Right, come on. Oh, he was never going to win that. Earnshaw against that, you know, giant man. Oh, come on. Just bloody break his legs already. That looked like it had gone off. Carlos and Bocanegra. Come on, they're fucking taunting you here with the these little moves. Come on. feet well so like feet just like croquet mats just huge just so heavy come on come on Mackin hold him off apparently Jimmy Bullard is going to be coming on for Wigan if I'm not mistaken and whole city oh oh come on here comes the new nil But Fulham do have one last chance with a corner unless they play it short. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Oh, no, it's whipped. Got plenty of players back, and we're going backwards. words can describe my frustration at this and i know you probably didn't hear that clearly but let me just re-say it let me just say it again for the people at the back who didn't hear me the first time and i'll even say it as an encore how fucking frustrating just stop with the nil nils like oh I just don't know what else to do. Don't know what else. After that round of matches, look at Reading go. 30 points, 7 points clear. Go Reading. That is more exciting than what the hell is going on with me at the moment. Anyway, Villa and Middlesbrough are second and third respectively with 23 points. Bolton Wanderers occupy fourth on 22 arsenal have fallen off a cliff a little bit and now sit in fifth newcastle united are in sixth directly behind arsenal uh manchester united are now in seventh they've really pulled themselves out of it so well done to you guys uh tottenham hotspur directly behind in eighth with everton and west ham united rounding off the top half of the table in ninth and tenth respectively uh, Blackburn Rovers currently sit in 11th. Well done you. You're doing all right for yourselves. Sunderland 
are 12th with Wigan Athletic and Portsmouth in 13th and 14th with 13 points. Well done to you. Fulham are currently 15th um, on 12 points. We've managed to somehow get ourselves out of the relegation zone, but because we've got the superior goal difference, because we just can't concede and we can't bloody score, right? We're 16th. I'll take it. That's fine. But I would like a win at some point. I've equaled the points, Tally. You know, Nadabi got in real life. Through 11 draws. In 12 matches. Christ. Anyway, Birmingham City. They are 17th on 11 points. Manchester City are currently 18th with 11 points. Chelsea still struggling. Conceding 21 goals. You don't have Stephen Bywater. That's why. Anyway, they're in 19th on 11 points. And Liverpool still occupy bottom on 9th. But hey, if we lose the next match and Birmingham, City and Chelsea all get points along with Liverpool, we go bottom. Do we want that? No, we don't. And our next match is against Manchester City. And we'll be playing at the Etihad. At the time, it was known as the City of Manchester Stadium. It was only when they were sponsored by Etihad did it become the Etihad Stadium. Anyway, I digress. So, yes, next match, Derby County are away to Manchester City. So, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get something out of it. Because this is driving me up the wall. Just saying. So, yeah. Thanks very much for joining me on this episode of Wednesday Night FIFA. You know what? I'm just a little bit frustrated because, yeah, just all of the constant nil nils. So, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like. Share the video as well. Subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment, you know. So, yeah, and I'll see you next time for some more FIFA football action. Take it easy, everyone.